and, and thank you that lady for your question there. What's your name? Kathleen. Kathleen. Well, it's nice. We, we like when, yeah, we like when people talk to us, you know? It kind of makes us feel less isolated up here. And, uh, and don't so worry, if we don't know the answer, we'll just make one up. So you'll be yeah, <laughs> we don't have any problem with that. <laughs> So the whole, the whole point of uh, kind of doing these concerts is that you will get to know us. You'll get to know our personalities, the things we talk about, and all that kind of thing. And if there's stuff that we say that you don't understand, please do not stand on ceremony and say, hey, wait a minute, what does that mean? Because we're quite happy to explain. Um, before we go any further, do you all understand what we're saying? Okay, that's good. That's very good. We're, we're doing well so far. Um, now, as you'll see, Graham looks very smart in his kilt. Yeah. <laughs> He's been described as beautiful in his kilt, you know? But only once. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, nice American lady. <laughs> and, uh, and I have a bit of a ridiculous outfit on, but I'll explain why that is in a minute. But let me stand up. So this is not a kilt, right? Yeah. But my friend uh, Diane, back there, who's, <laughs> who's on sound, apparently she described me to Tim Noah and several other people around here as, oh, she said, once you meet Irene, she says, she's like a, a fairy on steroids. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever that means, I don't know. So I thought, well, I better dress the part. So I'm dressing up <laughs> A steroid and fairies, at least. Well, yeah. You brought that with you, you didn't buy it. <laughs> yeah, I brought it with me. I, no, I, I saw it and I thought, that's the outfit, I'm going to wear that over there. <laughs> I wouldn't walk down the street with this at home, I have to say. <laughs> but it's and I wasn't a bit disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> Good. <laughs> Good, that's great. <laughs> okay, right, well, back to the music. What we're doing now, Ben? It's the, the Lee Rig. So oh, yes. This is a song by Robert Burns, who most of you have heard of him. Mean, they certainly know his famous quote from, from You're Scotland. You're familiar with Robert Burns? Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, good. So he was a, an amazing collector of songs and a collector of tunes. And what he was very good at was taking a really good old tune and putting, fanta putting fantastic words to it that really fitted the tunes really nicely. Uh, and this is certainly one of the, one of the best examples of uh, his love songs. Uh, Burns' father actually came from somewhere very, we, we come from Aberdeen, right in the northeast of Scotland. Just south of there is a place called Stonehaven, and, and Robert Burns' father was a farmer in that area. His son, his two sons, Robert and his other brother, I can't remember the name of them, they left there to seek work further south, and that's how Robert Burns ended up in Ayrshire, which is the, the place he's famous for staying, and uh, where a lot of his tales come from. So the Lee Rig, we'll better just explain what that is. Uh, we know that this is Labour Day weekend, and this is a fitting song for that because um, this is all about field workers, people who cut corn and uh, you know plow the fields, cut the corn, all that kind of stuff. And the Lee rig is it's in the Lee of like a haystack, and a rig is a haystack, and the Lee of it is the sheltered side of the haystack. Now uh, people would rest there, but it was also a really good place for courting couples. So that's what this is about actually. She's looking forward, and he is as well, to meeting. It's like where sweethearts meet. I'll meet thee on the lyric. So uh, hopefully you'll get the rest of it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a romantic song, come on. <laughs>
Give me the hope of love and grace.